If you've considered setting up a shrimp tank, then you've definitely thought about keeping different color neocaridinas together. This is referred to as a Skittles tank. But the question is, what happens when you keep different types of neocaridina together? What will future generations look like and is it really worth it? But first, if you enjoy learning about the aquarium hobby, then you've come to the right place. I upload a new video every week, so if you don't want to miss out on future videos, please subscribe and turn on the notifications. In order to understand what happens when you mix shrimp, we'll need to start off with a simple biology lesson. I know genetics can be difficult to understand, so I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible. In the wild, Shrimp are considered to be at the bottom of the food chain, which means everything else wants to eat them. If they were bright and colorful, they would have most likely died out long ago. Instead, wild shrimp need to blend in with their surroundings in order to survive. But just like with all other species, every now and then a mutation pops up. This normally happens in the form of a different color. This colored shrimp will then have bred with one of the normal brown shrimp before being eaten, which results in his genes being passed on to the next generation. Since shrimp in the wild need their dull color to survive, this coloration has become dominant over thousands of years, while mutations tend to be recessive. This means that if a shrimp gets this gene from only one of its parents, it will be a hidden gene. The shrimp will still have the dominant brown color, but it carries the gene for the mutation as well. The fun part comes when two of these shrimp with hidden genes breed. Let's say the female has 80 eggs. 25% of these babies will be brown with no hidden genes. 50% of the babies will be brown but will carry this recessive gene and 25% of the babies will carry both recessive genes from their parents, meaning the gene will no longer be hidden. So what happens when you put lots of different colors of shrimp in the same tank? The exact same thing will happen, just in reverse. Your first few generations might have some really interesting colors popping up. But within a few generations, you will begin to see more and more brown shrimp in your tank. This is because this wild gene type remains dominant. Another thing to remember is that almost all these colored neocaridina shrimp found in the hobby have been artificially bred to look like this by humans. This was done by taking these babies who carry the recessive genes and breeding them together enough times to create a whole colony of this specific color. The undesired colors were then removed from the tanks and only the correct colors were left to breed. This is an extremely long process that takes years and years to achieve. So to put it simply, if you mix your different color neocaridina shrimp you are going to eventually end up with the majority being brown again. I personally don't mind this since my mixed shrimp were placed into my community tank. It was just a fun experiment for me to see what colors would pop up over time. If your goal is to breed shrimp for profit, I would definitely say that you should not mix your different colored shrimp because you can never sell these as pure again in the future. If you do, that would be very unethical of you. But if you breed shrimp just for the fun of it to see what different colors will come out like I've done in my one tank, then by all means put as many different colors together as you can and just enjoy your tank because that's what it is to me. It's just there for my enjoyment and to see what pops up in that tank. If you are still unsure about if you should mix neocaridina shrimp or not, then please leave a comment below. I answer all comments and if I can't help you, then I will refer you to someone who can help you. But that's all from me guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to subscribe and to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. 
Until next time, bye.